Here's another potential meter question. In these two circuits, uh, we are investigating two different cells using a potential meter. At the balance point, so these two are at balance point already, cell X gives a reading of 44 cm and cell Y gives a reading of 70 cm. Which statement is not correct? Okay, we want to find the incorrect statement. Let's look at them one by one. A. The potential meter balance point results in zero current through the galvanometer. So I guess this is the starting point of any potential circuit. Galvanometer, no reading, meaning there's no current. B. At balance point, the current through resistor R in both circuits are the same. Okay, let's think about it. When there is balance point, right, there is no current through the galvanometer for both cases. So where will the current flow? If we look at the first circuit, the current will flow through the wire and then through the resistor R. Because here cannot pass. This route is not available. Okay, so nope. For the second circuit, it's the same idea. Flow through the same wire, flow through R. So since uh, we want to use current using the equation V is equal to IR, for this particular circuit. You'll put six here, this is I, and then this R will be the resistance R plus the resistance of the wire. So do you know that the wire has the same resistance because it's the same circuit. So I is the same. Okay, so this is correct. Okay, the current through the resistor R for both cases will be the same. Because there's no place, uh, number one, there's no branches. And number two, the value of R and the value of V is the same. Okay. Uh, C. The EMF of cell X is larger than EMF of cell Y. L or D, the value of EMF of each cell X and Y is less than 6 volt. Okay. So let's uh, consider uh, C first. To find the EMF of the cell, Let's say I call this EX, and maybe I'll call this EY. This EX will be the same as the potential difference across here. Let's say I'll call this V1. Okay, already mentioned before already. So because they are parallel and current cannot flow, the potential here and the potential here is the same. And also at the same time, because it's connected to the same battery, the potential here and the potential here is the same, which is 6. So if the green part, the potential is the same, and the orange part, the potential is the same, so I can say the potential from green to orange, here to here, which is EX, will be the same as the potential difference from here to here, which is V1. Difference, huh? So EX is equal to V1. But V1 is proportional to L. Okay? because um, V is equal to IR. And in this case, this R is the resistance of the wire. So the resistance of the wire is proportional to the length of the wire. So the potential difference will also be proportional to R. So because of this, potential difference is proportional to length. So it's a bit like, if you remember the theory, the potential difference is proportional to length. Okay, if you need a detailed explanation, go and watch the theory video. So since potential difference is proportional to the length, because resistance is proportional to the length, I can say that, um, you know, EX is somewhat related to 44 cm. Whereas for EY, which is equal to V2, let's say here to here is V2, is equal to V2. Okay. So since um, 44 cm is less than 70 cm, 44 cm less than 70 cm, then I can say that the V1 is less than V2 because V is proportional to L. So since V1 is equal to EX, EX will be less than EY. So cell X is supposed to be less than y. So this is wrong. The answer in this case is c. But let's confirm d first. 
the EMF of each cell X and Y is less than 6 volt. Let's go back to the graph. So this 6 volt, right, is shared equally, this 6 volt is shared equally between R and the wire. Let me zoom out a bit, okay? So if you think about the 6 here, this one is 6. This is equal to IR, which is uh, VR. VR is here to here, potential difference across the resistor, plus I R wire. So this one will be the potential difference across the wire, which is here all the way to here. Okay. So since 6 is this one, which is fixed, this thing is going to be less than 6 volt. If this is less than 6 volt, the whole wire from here to here is less than 6. Then 70 or 44 must be even lesser than 6. Okay? So I repeat, huh? this 6 volt is going to be shared with the resistor and the wire. I don't, I don't know how they share and it doesn't really matter how they sh what ratio they share it with. Okay? So this 6 volt is shared between R and the wire. If R is going to take some, the wire is less than 6. And you are not even taking the whole wire. You are only taking 70 cm of the wire or 44 cm of the wire. So the wire is less than 6. Part of the wire is less than less than 6. So definitely, it is less than 6 volt. Okay? So I'll write a brief explanation here. This one is correct. So 6 volt is shared between wire and R. R when take away some of the potential. Okay? So the potential difference of whole wire, the whole wire is already less than 6. Let's scroll down a bit. Already less than 6. So hence, 44 cm or 70 cm is less than 6 volt. Okay? So PD across 44 cm or 70 cm, definitely less than 6 volt. All right. So for potential divider, right, If or potential meter, if you understand the idea, the basic idea where what we are doing here is we are actually comparing the potential from <clears throat> at balance point where here to here is here to here, then you can write this one. This is the first idea. The second idea is to understand that the potential difference is proportional to the length. So the longer length, the greater potential. The third thing to know is that sometimes when we put a resistor in series this way, this resistor will share, will take away some of the voltage. Meaning this one will take away some so that this whole thing will be less than 6. Why do we do so? To increase the sensitivity or the precision because then uh, every cm will have less potential drop. So then you have more sensitivity. Okay, You can look at the next example, the solar cell example, to see that. But uh, in this case, if you understand the working principle, then it's easy to select the right answer. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.